for the past three years, I have been trying to raise wasps as pets. As a kid, I loved ants, and this seemed like the most logical way to take it to the next level. That is crazy. Crazy. All my attempts up till now have been somewhat failures. Many inventions later, and enough stings to probably give me PTSD, instead of giving up, I've decided to go all in, move out of my bedroom, and turn it into a complete environment for my new pet wasps. Okay, so my sister Alethea found a yellow jacket nest on a trail. We are trying to track it back down. Is this path familiar? Oh my gosh, we're lost. <laughs> I recognize that. You recognize the sky, okay. We're on the right track then. Which way? I think we need to turn left. Left? You just pointed to all of them and said left. Okay, we're gonna go right. This is getting creepy, yo. What on earth? Okay, <laughs> have, tell me the truth. Have you brought me here to kill me? Oh my goodness. What are your real reasons for taking me out here? Um, what real reasons? I told you. Lethe thinks she's Tarzan. <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up. Oh, this, oh, this tree, this tree just challenged us. Don't ever. <laughs> mess with this. We found the nest. It's right in this tree. I am going to pick it apart piece by piece until I get the nest. That way we can install it with the other nest in the closet. I'm gonna pull this wood out and see what happens. Wow. Okay. Oh, yep, they're attacking me. Wow. Oh, haven't gotten stung yet. Oh, they're all over me though. Do you guys see all the buzzing? I'm gonna run and grab the wood out. Ooh. Ah! Okay, one got me. Okay, I see the nest in there. I'm just gonna go in, grab it, and put it into our container here. Oh, snap. All right, I'm really nervous. Come on. Here we go. It just fell apart. Got part of their nest here. We need the queen, that's what we need. Another part of their nest here. Oh, there's a queen. There's a queen. Check this out. So this is actually a Western Queen Yellow Jacket. Up till now, I've only caught Southern Yellow Jackets. See that orange one down there? I put a Southern Queen Yellow Jacket next to her just to show the difference. And you can see there's quite a size difference and a color difference. That's fascinating. Honey is like kryptonite for wasps. So it's the perfect thing to make them really feel at home when you've just ripped them clear out of their old home. Right here you can see they smelled it right away and they're just soaking that stuff up. They're eating it like it's crazy stuff. Now this queen, she's seen a little bit more life in her time and so she has a little bit more timidity. She wants some though, you can tell. She's still too cautious though. These guys are on my finger. That makes the heart go a million miles a second because you never know if one will just suddenly decide to sting you, which actually is about to happen right here. It stings me. I didn't have audio, but that hurt. And now you can see my finger, it's shaking because after your finger gets stung, guys, apparently it's hard to keep it still. It just vibrates like that. But I still wanted to give them some more honey. And surprisingly, the shaking of the finger didn't freak him out too much. <laughs> Although, I was sure I was gonna get stung again. Thankfully, I didn't. Look at them eat that stuff up, man. The queen, she was not gonna have any. She wanted some, you could tell, but she was more cautious than anything. It was about time, though, to move them into their new home. Now, the last nest that I put on the wall, it wasn't natural for them. They live more like here in the dirt or rotten wood. The other nest, it did not survive sadly, so I tried a more natural setup and hopefully this one is more successful. Now I was about to throw out this box, but then I saw a young whippersnapper right there. So I lured her onto my finger with some honey and coaxed her eventually. She was a little rabid, but I coaxed her back into her nest. 
Then I saw a firefly and I decided, well, maybe they could have a play date. That would be cool to arrange. Popped her in, but she would have none of it and she flew off. I checked them after a couple hours. Seems like the queen and all her workers are settling nicely on the nest, guys. Hopefully this works. Closing it up for the night. And check this out, guys. I forgot to show you I made this tubing to go outside so they can forage on their own when they need food. I had this giant caterpillar and I wanted to try to feed it to the yellow jackets. So I snuck it in, put it on top of their nest. It took a while, but finally some workers noticed it. Now this caterpillar though turns out to be a crazy fighter. It's just pure muscle and its body, as you can see, is just crushing these wasps. And these wasps though put up a good fight. However, this caterpillar just flings them all over the place and eventually the wasps get the better sense of things and they just take off. The caterpillar though crawls around on the home for a while and here another wasp tries to take it down. This caterpillar crushes it right there and then eventually flings it right off. Check that out, slow motion view. Bam, that gotta hurt. This yellow jacket here thinks she's gonna have better luck but she has worse luck. Then the caterpillar unknowingly goes into the nest, which was probably the worst decision she could have made, but she makes it out. And honestly, guys, I gave up trying to feed her to them and she's actually still alive to this day. Here I checked on the other yellow jacket nest and they seem to th be thriving. Check that out. That's insane. That's a good number of wasps on that nest.